My name is Mitch Weiss. I'm a visual artist, predominantly working in photography. I think my earliest childhood memory with becoming interested in art and creativity was when I was maybe around four or five years old when my sister tricked me into believing that my drawings could be played on the piano. <laughs> so each day I would come to her with a new composition or a scribble at that point and uh, it would be transformed into Bach. And I think at that, at, at that moment it made me realize that art was not just a selfish kind of activity, but it elicited response and interpretation. Photography elicits all different sorts of responses in people. And so part of the reason why I've, I, I've decided to create images that are very crisp and very almost window-like, you know, you're not looking at a photograph, I'm trying to make it appear as if you're looking at a window to the subject, is because uh, of an illness that I had a couple of years back where I essentially went completely blind for a couple of months and I could basically just see shapes and varying colors and maybe I could see you know an inch in front of my face but uh, it was diplopic which means that there's double vision and so I remember sitting on the hospital bed and thinking to myself if I recover from this I'm not gonna let a single day go by without creating something I think it forced that acuteness and clarity because I, I didn't have that for that period of time and just just yearning for it and just imagining the clarity without actually being able to see clarity was the impetus. The viewer should see the photograph and not be distracted by the person who made it or the tools or the lighting or the lensing that went into it because it really is about the narrative and the story and the emotion that's being presented. Uh, I spend a lot of time traveling for photo shoots, so a lot of it becomes street photography when I'm not in the studio. So as much as I love lighting and really capturing the essence of a subject in studio, the fleeting capture of a narrative or an emotion on the street is just as powerful for me. Street photography can be seen as a, as a bit of a voyeuristic activity, but it's the most honest in my mind. So I see the street photography in some respects as a record of our humanity and a, a way for everyone to appreciate the subtle activities and experiences that happen on the street that many may pass and not take the time to really observe or see, but I can position the viewer and show them exactly what I want them to see. So my style is as much about me as it's not about me. I, I strive to create an image that will stand the test of time. Humble Hughes is an organization that I co-founded with Michael Winston, which pairs fine art and design to create fundraising opportunities for nonprofit organizations who generally don't have access to the high-level design and art that is required to gain attention and raise the type of funds that, that they truly need. The first major project of Humble Hughes was my first book, Dogs and Thought, and one of my first patrons timidly called years later and asked if I would be interested in photographing his dog in the same style that I had photographed Lady Gaga and some other iconic portraiture. I agreed and he came over to the studio and we made a very timeless image of his dog who sadly passed weeks later. It was his appreciation for the portrait that ultimately encouraged me to continue photographing dogs. And it features portraits of house and working dogs, such as therapy dogs, seeing eye dogs, bomb sniffing dogs, and all, all sorts of dogs that you see in your commute and in public events and in other areas uh, throughout your day. The proceeds from the book go entirely to the MSPCA and the Animal Rescue League of Boston. And ultimately, I was able to contribute more to the MSPCA and the Animal Rescue League than I could have by writing a check through artwork. In a sense, art as philanthropy is the mission of Humble Hughes. All I know is I want to continue making images for the public good. It, at this point in my career, I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to be trying to upsell my artwork. I, I, I want to create every single day.